Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a how to video on how to save some money on optics because these are common problems and they're expensive to fix so if we can mitigate some of those expenses we're going to do it. On this one here uh, you can hear that the prism is shaking on the inside uh, so this one is fixable. You would go in from this side and hopefully tighten it back down. Uh, but this one here has got a broken IPD adjustment cap. You can see how it broke right there. That's very common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off of this one and I'm going to move it over to this one. And at least then I'll have one optic that's good and ready to go. Because uh, I need this to be uh, ready in about an hour for um, a clinical case. So here we go. Uh, we got two different ones. I'm going to show you how to open it up and take off the cap and we're going to swap it over. So on these units, uh, these are F-170 flex binoculars. And you'll see that they got these covers right here where you would attach options. And these covers have these little plastic uh, caps. What I do is I take a very small flathead screwdriver and you pop off the bottom. And then you can take a small Allen wrench or I've got this uh, little chip lifter right here. And we're gonna put it in the hole and we're gonna press towards the front. Let me see if I can get this in frame better. Okay, so we're going to put it in the hole and push towards the front and we're gonna pop the, the cover up, just like that, that simple. So I'm grabbing the cover, gonna lift it up, and you'll see there's a tiny little set screw. Let's see if I can get it in there. There's a tiny hole right here. And I'm gonna stick, this is a 1.3 or a point. 0.5 inch by 40 Allen. We're gonna stick it in the hole and we're gonna loosen up. Loosen up that set screw. The set screw is holding on a shoulder for the screw right here, which adjusts the tension on your IPD. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the set screw aside. And now we're gonna take a flat head screwdriver. Anyway, ignore that. We're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna remove the screw that's holding the IPD adjustment knob. You wanna be careful because there's a series of spacers and flat washers that are on above the IPD knob and below the IPD knob. So when I take it out, I usually invert it for the last couple threads and pull it out. And here you can see I got one flat washer on the knob and I've still got one stuck to the base right here. So I'm going to pull that guy off. Stick him back on. Okay, so this guy is prepped and ready to go. There's Everything else seems pretty tight. Now, to pull the knob off the other unit, we're going to take the smallest flathead screwdriver and we're gonna stick it around the edge. Let's see, let me get a smaller one. We'll stick it around the edge and we're gonna pop the cover. There we go. All right. So, same thing on the second unit. We're going to pop off the little knob, the little uh, cover. I'm going to stick in my chip lifter and pry open the cover. There it goes. All right. Okay, I'm going to take my miniature Allen, loosen up that little tiny set screw. You don't have to take it all the way out, just loosen it up. And we're going to Take out that flat head screw. Okay, 
and then invert it to capture all those flat washers. Almost there. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take the good IP this, uh, excuse me, IPD adjustment knob. And I'm going to go ahead and install it inverted. You don't want it to cross thread. It's a very fine pitched thread. Shake it around a little bit and then continue. If it binds, shake it a little bit and then continue threading it in. And then you're going to add just a, a modest amount of tension so it feels pretty firm. There you go. All right. So here is also an excellent opportunity. Oh, 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 there it goes. On your F170 optics, if either of your eyepieces is loose, you can see the large Allens right here that adjust the tension on your your prisms in the front. Uh, this one's feeling all right. So the very last step, we're going to go ahead and put our set screw all the way back in. Okay. Oh, that's why. Somebody took out the set screw. Throw it all the way back in. Okay. Before I tighten down that set screw all the way, I'm going to make sure that this is tensioned correctly. And then I'll tighten that set screw down. And the very last piece, this cover, there's a little tiny lip of old silicone. You're going to take a flathead screwdriver and you're going to scrape off that old silicone all the way around nice and even and then you can use that same flathead screwdriver to place a thin layer of, of fresh silicone down and install your face plate that should just press on. And that is how you can save money on some optics because this guy is ready to go. Hey guys, thanks for watching.